on this episode of Independence USA. This weekend, we're going to build a cannon. We can make our own black powder. We can make our own shot. Imagine some son of a bitch going to try to raid our garden or get to the goats or something, and you go out there with a cigar in your mouth and say, <laughs> light that sucker up. Boom! If they don't scatter, they got to be out of their fucking minds. When the have-nots come for what the haves have, we can repel that force no matter how overwhelming it is. My name is Frank, and I'm not crazy. I know the world's not ending tomorrow, but you know what? I'm not taking any chances. My family and I are going to learn to fend for ourselves. Just like our parents, our grandparents, and our great-grandparents did. For us, every day will be Independence Day. Even if it kills us. If society were to collapse tomorrow, I'm in a little bit better shape than my neighbor. But now I got to worry about my neighbor. Take a look at this. I want to be able to build our own artillery, not only as a means of self-defense, but also as an adaptation to bring down multiple geese. We sneak up on a flight of geese with something like this as a scatter gun. We could probably put a year's worth of meat in our freezer. One hunting trip. Why do we have to make something so <laughs> crazy? Can't we just use weapons we have? Why make something like this when we've got plenty of shotguns, plenty of other modern ammunition? What happens when you can't get them anymore? What happens when you can't go to the store to buy new shotgun shells? And also, I think it's pretty important to consider that when the have-nots come for what the haves have, we can repel that force no matter how overwhelming it is. Who the, in the world makes their own cannon or whatever he's, he's going to call it to take down flocks of geese and to defend against invading hordes. I mean, it's insane. When do you have time to think about these things? Do you sleep at night? I do think about this. I lay in bed at night. I think about these kinds of things. And really, the, the key to it, to try to comprehend, is I don't want to wait. That's what this is all about. Why would we wait until there was some sort of a major collapse in our economy. How do I get through to you? We're getting ready before it happens. It's going to be too late if we wait. Today my goal is to build a cannon out of some scrap pipe. We can put our black powder in it, use it for home defense, maybe even do some hunting with it. You know, I thought of this idea of making this cannon, and I'm, I'm really anxious to get it done. I want to get it built before the end of the day. Yeah, that's cutting really well, man. Well done. The way I got it figured, there's going to be a lot of concussion when that powder goes off, so I'm going to make a double wall chamber that the explosion's going to occur in with a slightly longer barrel. We'll see how it works. How'd that go for you, Adam? I think it went pretty well. Take a look here. Oh, man, that looks perfect. I think it's going to be great. This is going to be our outer pipe. We'll weld that plate right to the back of this pipe, and then we're going to put our barrel. The actual barrel is going to sit down inside of it. I think about that long. Cool. There you go. I'm going to go cut the other piece of pipe. Okay. Man, this is going to make a perfect barrel. I'm either going to make a fool out of myself or this is going to look good because I'm going to try and add a little bit of water and see if it pisses all over the place, see where it leaks real bad. Now, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. You mean to tell me you just welded that thing? It's and almost it's, watertight. It's almost completely watertight. There's just that tiny little leak right here. Well done. What we're going to do... This doesn't actually have to hold anything anyway. This is just a safety, so... Now we'll thread this cap on the inner pipe, and that's the first protection up against the explosion.
What I was worried about, man, is I was worried about the powder that's in here. And I don't know what charge we're going to use yet. We're going to have to experiment. I was worried about the possibility of blowing the cap right off the end. I mean, that's a lot of force, but I understand what you mean. And then if it were to do that, it would have to blow that cap off, blow this pipe, blow this well. It's like triple, it's like protection. triple safety. Yeah. That's exactly right. Now all we got to do is put this pipe inside the other one, center it up real nice. Fill this void up with cement. I mean, check it out. When this is done, I mean, look at it. Imagine some son of a bitch kind of try to raid our garden or get to the goats or something, and you go out there with a cigar in your mouth and say, <laughs> light that sucker up. Boom! If they don't scatter, they got to be out of their fucking mind. You wouldn't even have to shoot anything, especially with black powder. You're going to get a huge fireball, and smoke's going to be everywhere coming out of the end of it. It's, it's really very cool. intimidating. We got two pieces of the pipe cut, our barrel, and our outer cover. I'm gonna mix up some modified grout. This is an acrylic um, mortar ad mix that um, makes the mortar really sticky. It'll stick to the steel even so that we have a really good bond between the two. And let's just see how much of a mess we can make here. This is wet enough that it'll find its way all the way around the inner pipe, and we won't have to worry about any voids in there. I can't believe it, Adam. We made the perfect amount. Look at this. It's perfect. Looks really well centered, Adam. Let's let it set up till it's hardened. We got ourselves a cannon. Awesome. Hey. Hey, Chuck, how Thanks. you doing? Good to see you. I figure it's a good time while we're letting the concrete dry between the two layers of our barrel to take a ride out here to visit the folks at Dixon's Muzzle Loading Shop and get the shot and the powder we needed. We're here for some shot and some black powder. Oh, you're going to do some hunting? Well, <laughs> kind of. We're actually in the midst of, of, of starting to build our own cannon. Ah, uh, you and your project. <laughs> Always something. Yeah. I figure we want to try and shoot some shot out of it rather than a solid projectile. Yeah, we have that. Of course, uh, a, a person like you, as ingenious as you are, you could make your own shot. How can you make, like, little shot that small? I mean, we have molds for making the larger projectiles, but, like, little bird shot? Right. Well, you're going you're gonna to melt your lead, and you're going to pour it through a, a sieve or a screen, and as it falls to earth, it, it'll form the pellets and then harden and then drop it into a, a barrel of water. So it actually hardens as it's falling? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to definitely try that. I come in here really confident about our cannon, but now, after realizing that we can make our own shot, every day it seems we can find there's more and more we can do on our own without having to rely on somebody else to do it for us. I don't think there's anything else to do but give this thing a shot. Shoot it, man. Let's shoot it. Yeah. Do you think this is crazy or, 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 or what? It might be a little bit excessive. Ready or not, here we go. Tatler Reusable Canning Lids. Family owned since 1976. That's right, Tatler Reusable Canning Lids. Yes, reusable with a lifetime guarantee. Made in America, BPA free. Tatler Reusable Canning Lids. Because those who can, do get rid of the disposable lid go to reusablecanninglids.com tatler reusable canning lids it's now possible to have emergency backup electricity when you lose your power. Introducing solar generators from Solutions from Science. These emergency backup systems provide life-saving electrical power when you need it most. Unlike gas generators, a solar generator runs quietly, emits no fumes, and produces electricity from the sun. It's like running an electric power plant in your own home. Ice storms, brownouts, blackouts, you'll never have to suffer through painful power outages again. Visit MySolarBackup.com today for more information. That's MySolarBackup.com, MySolarBackup.com. Backup.com. Bringing a firearm into your home is one of the most important decisions you can make. If you are considering gun ownership, CheaperThanDirt.com is here to help you make a responsible and informed choice. We understand it is a personal decision how you choose to protect your family. We offer thousands of choices of firearms, ammunition, and accessories to suit your individual needs. Be responsible, be proactive, and exercise your Second Amendment right. Find us online at CheaperThanDirt.com. That's CheaperThanDirt.com. 
Understanding our Constitution has never been more important. That's why you tune into GBTV, because you care about our founding principles. The first step in protecting our Constitution is knowing and understanding it. For a limited time, FreedomWorks will send you a free copy just for the asking. And for a small donation, we will send you additional pocket constitutions to share with your friends and neighbors. Go to FreedomWorksForUs.com now. Know the Constitution and work to defend it. Get your free copy now at FreedomWorksForUs.com. It looks like the bay is open in front of the rescue truck there at the firehouse. Oh, yeah. Let's stop in and see what's going on. On our way back from Dixon's muzzleloading shop, Adam and I stopped at our local firehouse. Hey, guys. Adam, Bill, how you Adam, doing? how are you? We just came back from getting some supplies for our cannon. A cannon? A cannon. A cannon. Look at them. They're all looking pretty skeptical. Like... Guys are out of control. A cannon. What are you using it for? Well, we could use it to put meat on a table if we have to, or... We can use it to defend our home if there's a mass of people coming at us after the shit hits the fan. Where are you going to shoot this thing? I figure what we'll do is we'll just go out in the woods somewhere and try shooting it off a few times and see how good it works. Are you going to let your neighbors know? I think, I don't think they'd be too surprised, which is what's funny. <laughs> well, then again, you're dealing with Adam and Frank, so yeah. it really shouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> All right, now that this thing has dried overnight, I'd put some spray paint on it to make, make it all spray uniform paint. in color, you know what I mean? Awesome. I figure all we got to do now is bore a hole through here for the fuse. This should do it. That ought to do it, man. Nice and snug. What I'd like to do is just take take a look and see if I can see. Yeah, grab that flashlight. Can we see? Can you see that fuse down in there? Yes, absolutely. It it's, feels like it's rubbing the back of the it wall. It feels like it's rubbing the it's back rubbing of the, the wall. Back. Heck yeah! Go ahead and light that fuse. Oh yeah. I can hear it. Yep, it's perfect. I don't think there's anything else to do but give this thing Let's a try. Shoot it, man. Let's shoot it. <laughs> I think we better mount it on something so that the thing doesn't move when okay. we shoot it. Because I don't know how close I want to be to this thing when I first set, <laughs> shoot it. So I'm thinking maybe we just take this thing and clamp it down to this these right. couple of boards. You want to hold it right there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's got it. I'm going to make a wadding that fits the barrel. Because we're going to need something to hold up against the back powder. So I figure I'll take a piece of the pipe we use and just sort of punch out some pieces of cardboard to shove down the barrel in front of it. We got some waddings cut. We got our black powder. You got some fuse? Mm -hmm. I think we better go shoot it out front so that we don't scare the crap out of poor old Nick back here. Do you think this is crazy or, 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 or what? It might be a little bit excessive, but I think knowing that we have the ability to do something like this is worth taking a small risk. Exactly. As long as we do it safely. We're going to start off with using about 100 grains of black powder without any shot. Here's our piece of wadding. I just want to see if the welds will hold. Let's give it a try. Nice slow burning fuse, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. That sounded just like a cannon, man. It really did. I'm looking at how far the smoke went out. It was a very, very light load. We put 100 in last time? Yeah. I said we put at least 125 in this time. Okay. Pack it up good and tight. I'm going to hold it when it goes off. I want to see what it feels like. All right. Ready or not, here we go. Go ahead. Yes! Now that's got some impact. That's a lot better, man. That was only 30 more grains. You can hear it. I'd say we could still go higher. But we've got it figured out. Man, if you seen this thing go off at you and you were coming in this direction, if anybody didn't turn around and run, they'd have to be out of their minds.
Last week, Adam and I finished building our summer kitchen. Our first project inside this building is going to be making our own cannon shot. Step one will be melting scrap lead in our electric pot. Oh, you got this all set up. Good, good, good. I'm just starting to scrape all this dirt, the slag that yeah. came off of that melted lead. I have always saved scrap lead. I'll even scrounge bullets from the shooting range. They have these steel backstops that the bullets hit and deflect down to the ground. So I'll just pick up all that lead, melt it all down. It's a little dirty. It's got the copper jackets from the bullets and stuff on it. But that all floats to the top. You skim it off. You got nice lead to work with. Well, we got our bucket of water all set and good to go. The lead looks good. Uh, I don't know how much it's going to spatter, but according to Greg and Chuck, you just pour it through a screen and it's supposed to turn into the shot. That looks about right. And through it goes. Well, I'll tell you what. It's a lot of little pieces, but it sure ain't shot. It ain't round at all. The cannon's working well, but this, not so much. But uh, I hope we can figure this out. I'm really happy with the way the cannon itself is working, but now we got to get it mounted down onto something. <laughs> Check it out. We made some rolling artillery, man. Let's go see if it rolls. Food independence, emergency preparedness, self-reliance. MyPatriotSupply.com. Get our survival seed vault and feed your family from your own garden for just $37.95. Our non-hybrid heirloom seeds are genuinely American, just like you. Your survival needs and survival seeds are at MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com. Self-reliance. MyPatriotSupply.com. I'm often asked the question, is investing in gold right for me? In fact, many people think that owning gold is only for the wealthy. But you can own gold with a minimal investment. It's easy to own gold. At Goldline, our clients invest in physical gold, not gold stocks or gold funds. Call Goldline and talk with an account executive who can answer your questions and discuss the available gold products, like our popular European coins or proof American coins. Your gold is then shipped directly to you, or we will arrange storage for you. Goldline has been helping investors acquire precious metals since 1960, and we work with new clients every day who have decided that it's time to invest in gold. Isn't it time that you consider gold? I invite you to join the thousands of hardworking, satisfied clients who have chosen Goldline to help diversify by investing in gold. Call Goldline now and receive a free investor's kit and the American Advisor newsletter. Our account executives are here six days a week to serve you. Give us a call today. Tatler Reusable Canning Lids, family owned since 1976. Reusable! That's right, Tatler Reusable Canning Lids. Reusable! Yes, reusable, with a lifetime guarantee. Made in America, BPA free. Reusable! Tatler Reusable Canning Lids, because those who can, do. Reusable! Get rid of the disposable lid. Go to reusablecanninglids.com. Tatler Reusable Canning Lids. about right and here it goes. Our first attempt at trying to make shot didn't work very well. We used too large a screen and as the lead was just flowing through, it was hitting the water and it was splattering and it basically just looked like shrapnel. It wasn't any way near round. I think they need to fall longer so gravity can have more of an effect on them. Because you remember Greg said something about doing it from a little bit higher. He actually said as high as we can, you know, go up on a ladder or something like that. I say we unscrew it from the workbench, we put two eight-foot ladders in here. It'll take us five minutes, we drop it from eight foot and see what it looks like. Here we go. Let's see if the height makes a difference. Let's take a look at what we got. I think it might be a little better. Oh, there's some that are round. I mean, this would work. I think that this is definitely going to work as shot. And what we'll do is we'll compare it. We'll use the shot we got from Greg and Chuck, and we'll use this, and we'll see what the difference is. <laughs> the 
We mounted the cannon on a bigger, more permanent board to get a better feel for it. You know, it's a little heavy and it kind of clunky. It might be nice to uh, see if we can mount it on wheels somehow. Let's see that wheel barrel and see if this is going to work. Yeah, it's kind of in there. Maybe we can mount some sort of piece of wood or something and sort of strap this in because I, I really like the to be able to raise and lower the elevation. I can aim left and right. No, I'm, I'm on board with you 100%, but while you were talking, I was looking over here at this four-wheeler I completely destroyed. I remember, it runs pretty good overall, but it's just it's really a pile shot. of parts. So the whole rear is off of it, the axle and everything. Oh, I'm right. liking this better. This is a fantastic idea, much better than my idea with the wheelbarrow. That I was working on. It go like that. We just put another washer. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's even a cool noise. Look at this. I'm surprised the audio guys don't record stuff like that and sell them as different kinds of noises that nobody has. What could that have been? That's, that'd be like a spaceship landing. Take a half-inch pipe, Nichols. All we got to do is cut that off, mount the wheels to it. We got ourselves an axle. It is kind of heavy, so I'm glad we're doing this, man. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> I love it. There's our tow hitch, man. Onto the floor. That is some heavy artillery, too, man. <sighs> Look at that thing. We made some rolling artillery, man. Let's go see if it rolls. You're good right there. All right. Go ahead. I love it! Unbelievable, man. Now let's go get the girls and go shoot this thing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at what, what is this? This is stupid. And the cops might come. I'm really worried, and I'm thinking that if there's any problems, I'm just going to say I had nothing to do with it. They're zombies. Don't you love zombies? Adam and I set it all up. I figured you guys get a big kick out of it. Oh, my gosh. Well, I w particularly love the, uh, the watermelon in the center. Who is that supposed to be? Well, we figured it'd give you uh, a little bit more incentive to really work on your accuracy. I want to blast and... that one. I'm actually pretty excited now. I'm kind of nervous. I'm, I'm kind of scared that something bad might happen. Let's load this thing up. Nice long fuse. Now here's your shot and your wadding. Very good. This is the shot that Adam and I made. Oh. So when I'm at school, this is what you guys are doing? Pretty much. Mm. So now this is going to go wide, right? Like a shotgun? Exactly. And there's no way that this can come back and hit us. Not that I know of. Oh, jeez. They don't know what they're doing. I take offense to that. Go ahead and pack it down. All that's down there, and I can feel my shot compressing. This style of cannon was used in what they refer to as market hunting in, like, the 20s and stuff. And what they would do is they put something like this a little bit bigger onto the front of a rowboat. They would row out to a flight of geese that was sitting on the water, and a guy would go, boom! And me and Dad were reading a story where they would take down 500 geese at a time. And then they would use those for, you know, to, to feed a whole town. Is it going to be loud? It'll make some noise, for sure. That's not going to roll away. Adam, you aim. I'll light it. This is going to do some damage. Here we go. Guys, there's no turning back now. Man, that is throwing shot all over the place. She really hit this target. Yeah, it skinned the side of his head. From all that shrapnel, one was just tumbling by. The reality of the matter is, guys, this would definitely do some damage. I'll tell you what, 
Our aim was definitely off, but it has a really wide pattern. I think with a little higher charge and the store-bought shot, I think we may be able to tighten up our pattern. Let's give it a try. Let's roll that cannon in closer and see if we can't blow that Frank Melon up. Frank Yay! Melon. <laughs> see you later, watermelon. Is it low enough? Looks perfect. Frank Melon. Bye-bye. 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 Here we go. Oof. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Fruit salad. <laughs> Guys, there's a flight of geese coming over. Come on, Adam, let's load this thing. Let's get them. Dad, what are you doing? You can't do hurry that. Hurry up, hurry up. Dad, you the rods? seriously? How are you going to lift it? How are you going to yeah. shoot them? You can't just get aim a cannon and shoot geese out of the sky. I'm just kidding. It would be totally illegal now. But if it ever comes to pass that there's a breakdown of civilization and it's every man for himself, we'll be ready with our cannon to take down a lot of game and scare off multiple invaders. That's how we roll here in Independence USA.